Elder abuse refers to any intentional act or failure to act that could potentially cause harm to an adult age 60 or older. The abuser is often a caregiver or other trusted individual who's supposed to care for or support the victim. Unfortunately, elder abuse may be more common than you think. Some experts estimate that 10% of people 65 and older experience elder abuse every year. Elder abuse victims are three times more likely to die within a decade. Only one in 24 cases of elder abuse are actually reported. For cases of neglect, only one in 58 cases gets reported. Elder abuse cases have increased since the coronavirus pandemic. One study suggests that elder abuse may have increased by as much as 84% during this time. You can't expect elder abuse to disappear by itself. In many cases, the victims of elder abuse may actually be unaware of what's happening to them. That means family members of potential elder abuse victims need to watch for the signs of abuse or neglect and take steps to protect those they love. There are seven basic types of elder abuse. Physical abuse has been reported by 1.6% of elders in the United States and yet is one of the most underreported forms of elder abuse. It involves any form of violence or physical harm that injures an older adult, such as kicking, punching or slapping, scratching, shoving and restraining. Psychological abuse occurs when abuser demeans, intimidates or belittles an older person with words or actions. Victims of this abuse experience attacks on their psychological and emotional health, rather than physical injuries. These psychological attacks can cause the victim to experience depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. This type of elder abuse can take several forms. Verbal abuse, where the abuser bullies, harasses, or yells at a victim. Psychological torment, where the abuser blames a victim for problems or uses threats. An abuser isolates a victim from family members, friends, and social events. Sexual elder abuse occurs when an individual has sexual contact with an older adult without their consent or against the victim's will. It can also occur between two elderly people who don't have the mental capacity to consent to sexual contact. Both men and women can be victims of elder sexual abuse, though research suggests that it may be more likely for women. Financial abuse involves an abuser taking money or property without the senior's knowledge, understanding, or consent. This includes taking control of a senior's finances, using their credit cards, or even stealing funds from the elder's bank, retirement, and other financial accounts, all of which can leave the abuse victim in financial ruin. It also includes abusers stealing an older adult's valuables. Some abusers may be granted power of attorney over a senior to gain full control over their finances. Abusers may target older adults coping with Alzheimer's disease or dementia, as they can be more susceptible to financial abuse. According to the National Adult Protective Services Association, 7.9% of complaints were related to financial exploitation. Elder neglect is a type of abuse that comes in three forms, physical, emotional, and financial. It occurs when a caretaker doesn't ensure that the elderly patient has their physical, psychological, or social needs met for an extended period of time, leaving the older adult without appropriate care. Physical neglect occurs when a caretaker neglects a senior's needs regarding nutrition, bathing, grooming, and medication. Emotional elder neglect happens when a caretaker ignores a senior's emotional pain or belittles or threatens the senior, which can result in emotional distress, anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues. Financial elder neglect is different from financial abuse. In the case of neglect, a caretaker is not intentionally trying to steal from the senior, but instead doesn't take appropriate actions to handle a senior's finances, like paying the elder's bills on time. Elder abandonment is another form of abuse where a caretaker abandons an elder and leaves them to handle their own care. These senior victims may lack the physical and mental abilities to care for themselves. Finally, there's elder self-neglect, but in this category, the victim is also the abuser. An older adult can ignore their own health intentionally or not, allowing it to deteriorate. For example, a senior dealing with Alzheimer's disease might forget to take certain medications. Seniors may struggle to realize they're dealing with self-neglect. The longer the adult continues to do so, the more likely they'll suffer health problems. If self-neglect is ongoing, the results can be fatal for an older adult.
You can report suspected elder abuse to the police or local adult protective services. There is no penalty for reporting suspected abuse, and you may be able to help the person get the help they need. Elder abuse is a genuine problem that's become more pervasive. If you believe a family member is a victim of elder abuse, maltreatment, or neglect, contact us for a free case evaluation. NursingHomeAbuse.org, exposing elder abuse and helping seniors get justice.